Hey y'all, this is Allison from the DevNet Sandbox team, and today I want to do something a little bit different and give you a sneak peek at what's going on behind the scenes for our new Sandbox environments. We're going to look at the same one that we looked at last time. We're going to look at the secure network analytics, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and make a reservation. So one of the things that is so exciting about our new setup is that it's all driven by inner, like infrastructure and network as code. Um, so everything that drives Sandbox will be pulled from our GitHub. We have various YAML and Terraform files that will be driving everything. Um, and from the admin view that I'm going to get back here, you'll get to see a little bit more about this. Um, so all of the functionality that we were running before um, in uh, an older software, like older on-prem software, um, we are now driving via Terraform. So we can see over here, um, once this is, this is reaching out to an agent that's running in Kubernetes. Um, once this is up and ready to go, we'll start seeing the Terraform logs actually get spit out um, directly over here. So I can see my different the different stages of my terraform so i have my terraform plan um and then i can also see the result of the applicate like the the terraform apply um and this will go through for all of the vms that the sandbox will make so let's just pick one of these and we'll keep an eye on him See how the port group is going. So we can see over here, I have my port group has been created. Um, we're able to basically do everything programmatically um, using this new schema. So whether it's dynamically figuring out where resources should go based on our current load um, or being able, being a little bit more dynamic about um, like how we're deploying things. This gives us a whole lot more freedom um, and honestly makes everything a lot more repeatable um, than it was previously. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this one, this VM, as it goes through its setup. Here we go. So I can actually watch this live um, as the like the the log output from Terraform, the the runner, the agent that's running in Kubernetes. I can watch the logs live now um, from directly from my output over here. So we can see that this is going to go through, still creating the VM. Uh, looks like we've got a couple that have finished up. So some of these don't wait for IP so they finish real quick. Other ones of these are waiting to make sure that the IP gets assigned correctly. So they take a, a little bit longer to come up. One of the, the things that this has kind of forced us to do is to break down our process um, and modularize things as much as we can. So we're hoping to move to a much more plug and play setup um, for sandbox builds. So we can see this guy is done. Um, we're in, we've moved on to network configuration steps. Um, and then we just have to set up the VPN and the reservation is good to go.
This always takes longer when somebody's trying to watch it. Okay. Our ACL is done. Um, and now it's just the VPN. And then everything will be up and ready to go. And there we go. Um, I can now come in and see my VPN access here. Um, so we're really excited about this change. Um, we're hoping this will make us be a lot more agile, a lot more um, just able to, to build things faster and have them be to a better quality. Um, we're super excited to be able to share this with everybody.